Hello everyone, welcome to your favorite YouTube channel, my project ideas. Today we are going to make a C++ project on the topic pharmacy management. So now let's look at the requirements of this code. You require an IDE for any kind of compiling this source code. Second, you require code blocks or VS code or any other text editor through which you can write your code. Third, you require an operating system. You may use any operating system as per your choice, but the recommended ones are Windows 10 or any other latest version. So now let's move to the code part and I'll show you how the code executes, how what's the output. So this is basically our code. So what I'm going to do here is I'll be explaining you this. So first we have in included all the header files. Then we have defined max to be 10. This is the maximum limit. Then the header file that is using namespaces tree has been defined. The class medicine type, which is the base class, like through which all the functions of this project is done. Public is the access specifier. Then we have the functions named void take order, which is used to take the order, delete order to delete the order, modify to modify the order, order list to display the order list of medicines, daily summary to display the detailed daily summary of each patient and whose which medicine he has been consuming or he has been purchasing, exit function to exit the system, and the medicine type. This is a constructor. As you all know, constructor is a special kind of function which will have the same name as the class name. Then we have a structure named node and here we have the data types like int and the identifier as receipt number, the string customer name, string date, array like quantity whose uh, number of array elements or the array length is 10, then a string type which is OTC that is over the counter, then int x, menu, double amount. Then these are the medicine names which is available in the pharmacy. That is probiotics, vitamin C, acid free, women's multivitamins, marino tablet and so on. Then these are the medicine speculations. And this is a total. Then we have three pointers named previous, next and link. We will see what does this pointers do while we proceed towards the code. Then these are the pointer declaration. Here, what have we done is we have initialized the start pointer to be null, the head to be null, and the last to be null. This is the main function, and this is system color zero. This is the color to change the background to make the code look visually appealing. Then we have the int menu. Here we have a do loop, do while loop. Uh, you know the significance of the do while loop, right? Even if the condition is false for the very first time, it will run at least once. Displays pharmacy management system, which shows you to take new medicine order, delete latest medicine, modify order list, print the receipt and make payment, there is summary and exit. So these are the basic functionalities which we can perform. These are the certain cases, starting from case 1 to case 6. This is a take order function add, function delete, function modify, function order, function daily summary and function exit. So accordingly, which, you, which function you want to use, which option you want to execute, Accordingly, you can go to that particular function. If you execute something or if you type something which is not valid, it shows you entered invalid input and re enter the input. Then, this is a take order or the function to take the order. These are basically the list of medicines that are available with the drug's price, the drug's type, and the drug's ID. And it will ask you to enter the order number, customer name, date, and how many medicines would you like to order. And maximum you can order is 10. And if you, uh, if you order something which is more than 10, then it shows the medicine you order is exceeded the maximum amount of order. Then if it's less than 10, it will ask you to enter your selection, the medicine name and how many medicines do you want and the amount you need to pay. After which it displays order taken successfully and go to the receipt page to pay the bill. These are the order list. And uh, if there will be no order, then it shows there is no order to show. The list is empty. Or else it will display you the list. The medicine type, medicine name, quantity and total price. Then the delete order function. This is the function to delete the order. Basically, whatever you have ordered, if you want to delete, if you changed your mind or if you say some complications, in, if you don't want the medicine anymore, then you need to delete the order, right? So basically, this function is used to delete the order. So it will be deleted successfully. 
to modify the order if the number of medicines which you took is less or which you took is more of or if you took the wrong medicine then you can modify it at the end also so here you can or change the order number change the customer name change the date and the number of medicines that you want to take the record will be modified if the receipt number here the unique identifier is a receipt number if the receipt number you entered is incorrect then you can't proceed the code then the daily summary the daily summary is the number of orders that has been taken in a particular day that is called a daily summary this is the uh, this is the pattern in which the daily summary will be displayed and this is the exit function here you can come out of the code so let's run the code and let me show you the output I'll run the code. See, okay. So here my choice is I'll take a new medicine order. So this is displayed. So what is my order number? See, my order number is one. Customer name is Sundar. The date will be twenty-two. Okay. So how many medicine would I would like to order? Let's order four. My selection is C uh, two. So my medicine name is vitamin C. Correct. So how many medicine do I want? I will be requiring two. So then amount I need to pay is six. Is any key to continue? The next medicine which I want, what medicine number five? Merino tablet two. Then I want the six. That's maxi cal. Uh, calcium tablet. Then again one. Then I want ten. Royal propylene. I repeat. So I have already taken the order. Now I will go to pay the bill. So let's print the receipt. Enter the receipt number. It's asking me it's this one. This is my because my order number is one, so my receipt number is one. So basically, this things I have ordered. So uh, then, exact amount will be thirty-eight. So I press the thirty-eight. Payment will be done. Then I have to say modify the order list. Receipt number is one. Change order number. Say twelve. Customer name. I'll change. I'll change to Sumi. The date. Let's keep it same. Uh, this also I keep it same. So I change the medicine in meds. I change it to medicine one as well. Then I will change to E E four. Record has been modified. Now let me show you the record. Full. So I will show you the record. I will show you four. I will show you square. See, every data has been changed. Whatever I have entered, the data changed. Now my bill is twenty seven. Previously it was thirty eight. Now what I'll do? I'll show you the daily summary. So this is my daily summary, the updated one. Now I'll delete the latest order. Now let's see. Here is the order. There is no order to show. I hope you understood the working of this code. For more interesting quality ideas, stay tuned to our channel. Thank you and have a great day.